Hi guys, welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, meron tayong math problem coming from differential calculus which was as na which is a past board exam problem. Pero before that mga Lodi Cake, shoutout mo na kay Gerald A. Sapungan siya, kay Dane Brizel. And maraming maraming salamat sa support niyo mga Lodi Cakes. So for this video, medyo recap lang tayo ng mga application ng derivatives para at least kahit pa paano, diba, yung nababalikan natin yung mga uh, lecture about sa calculus, specifically differential. Find the point where the normal to y equals x plus square root of x at 4 comma 6 crosses the y-axis. So kung mapapansin nyo, may binigay tayong term dito na normal, which is uh, related siya sa tangent. If we will recall, the slope of the tangent line is equal to the first derivative mga Lodi Cakes. Tandaan po natin yung pinaka-concept na yun. The slope of the tangent line at any curve is equal to its first derivative. So kailangan muna natin kunin yung slope ni tangent line. Kasi alam natin na yung tangent line is always perpendicular to the normal line. Tandaan po natin yung concept na yun sa calculus. So we will just get first the derivative. So we have y equals x plus square root of 6. Getting the derivative using the fundamentals. So we have y prime equals, ang derivative ng x or ij ay 1. Ang derivative ng square root of x, so dapat kabisado niya na yung mga basic derivatives ng mga square roots. So this is 1 over 2 square root of x. And this corresponds to the slope of the tangent line. So since there is a given point which is 4 comma 6, so we'll just substitute it. So we have m equals 1 plus 1 over 2. Since the x coordinate is, I mean the x variable is present here, so we will just use the x coordinate which is 4. So that is 2 square root of 4. So if we will simplify, that is 1 plus 1 over 2 times 2 which is equal to 5 over 4. Kasi 1 for 2, 1 plus 1 for, that is 5 over 4. So that is the slope of the tangent line. So how do we get the slope of the normal line? So the slope of the normal line, sir, ij, is just the negative reciprocal of the slope of the tangent line. So kunin lang yung negative reciprocal nito, that is negative 4 over 5. Sana maliwanag yun, guys, ha? Tangent line, perpendicular sa normal line. Negative reciprocal lang po yung slope ng normal line with respect to our slope ng tangent line. So, meron na tayong equation, or sorry, slope ng normal line. Meron tayong ano, point. So, gagamit lang tayo ng point-slope form to determine the equation of the normal line. So, we have the y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. So, kailangan alam nyo po yung form na to. This is what we call as the point slope form. May slope tayo na negative 4 over 5, and we have the point 4 comma 6. So that's y minus 6 equals negative 4 over 5 multiplied by x minus x sub 1, which is 4. Multiply everything by 5. So kunin natin yung equation, that's 5y minus 30 equals negative 4 times x, that's negative 4x. Negative 4 times negative 4, that's positive 16. Lipat lang guys, so that is 4x plus 5y equals the negative 30 will be plus 30 sa right side, so that's 46. Anong hinahanap sir IJ? Point na nag-cross sa y-axis. So that means na kapag sa y-axis, that is x equals 0. Kumbaga y-intercept. So we have 4 multiplied by 0 plus 5y equals 46. So the resulting equation will be 5y equals 46 y equals 46 over 5. So we have 9.2. So the final answer will be letter D, 9.2. So ganun lang po guys ha. Slope of the, derivat the slope of the tangent line is equal to the derivative and the normal line is always perpendicular to the tangent line. That's why it will be the negative reciprocal. If you have questions or clarifications, just drop your comment on the comment section. And I would like to thank everyone for uh, the support and maraming maraming salamat mga Lodi Geeks. Simula noon hanggang ngayon, nandyan kayo. So sana magkita-kita pa tayo sa mga next mga tutorial videos natin and engineering related uh, contents. And thank you everyone. Bye-bye and God bless po.